We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run a structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa. I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing, big guy. Rex. No worries, Gramps. I think we know what's for lunch. This will be a walk in the park. Flying style. An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds, and at its heart, the world tree, piercing the heavens. This, this is the world we call home, all rest. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in all rest lived on the tree, together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land, and the people there, held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator, or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans. And we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now, those Titans are beginning to die out. Uh, oh, the brazier does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh, right, sir. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder... if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. 
And you too. That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually. There'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So, you Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say, for what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist, this Elysium, and the Creator who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. Back to making money. I think this hall should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right, else I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right, later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it have the time to? No one, I'm afraid. Figures. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. And arrived. Stop your prattling. We must move forward.
and arrived. Still more than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Arday and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Reg's good salvager. Could be good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is a beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's because Gramps doesn't charge rent. Eh hey, hey? All right, I'm counting on you. Roger. Pleasure doing business. Hello, Rex. Papunin, been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, no, how say? Yes, Pippi. Been worse? So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, Rex come from Fonset Village in Leftherian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? Y you should go straight to boardroom of chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner, ask for Rex by name. The Chairman? For me? Thank you for accepting summons. I, Banner, Chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. P pleased to make your acquaintance. We hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have dincy wincy thing to ask of Rex. A request straight from the Chairman. Reward is... One hundred thousand gold. A hundred thousand? Friend here, right? Actually, that just the advance. Another one hundred thousand provided upon completing job. Two hundred thousand gold in total? I, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> You agree, without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? 
You really have skills for this. Of course. I'll be fine. Nah, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir? Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul up. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area. But it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That, when Banner have stroke of genius, should hire Rex! Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> A child salvager. Jin, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly undergrand. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Dromark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop you it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Grump showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. Such rowdy bunch. Here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need, then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. And that about covers it. All right, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. 
You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex!
Wait here, I'll bring something great. Ta! Onwards. This looks like it'll be something good. You're all mine.
it was me, I'd probably stay in bed some more. But you're the boss. Ugh, I slept like a baby. Wheeling out the maelstrom for this. Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat? What are you, twelve? Wait, maybe you are twelve. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're gonna swallow a fly. What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Gotcha. What, you little... Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Rex, we're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later. And arrived. Any chance of having a break? My legs kind of hurt.
Hmm. That's the black ship from the harbor. Is it following us? Oof. It's way too cold up here. You? I'll have you know I've got a name. It's Nia. They've started boozing below decks. You should join them. Why aren't you there? It's not that I hate it. I just really don't need a headache right now. Huh. Good thing you're not a salvager then. Where's that? Swim like a fish and drink like one too. That's the salvager's code. <sighs> Sounds terrible. I don't think I'll be changing careers. Hmm, probably for the best. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvagers do. So, kid? My name's Rex. <sighs> okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? That there. The world tree? I don't get it. You know... You find all sorts of things digging through salvage. Some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed, though, there's fewer titans each day? I saw one go under just the other day. It was a pretty big one. There must have been loads of animals still living on it. Living space is running out day by day. And sooner or later, we'll be the ones sinking down into the cloud sea. But up there, Elysium is waiting for us. <laughs> Seriously, kid, Elysium, don't tell me you believe that gaff. So that's, uh, why you're a salvager. It's just a lie for children. And that there is just an overgrown shrub. If there's a way to get up there, maybe it's hidden below the clouds. Is it really that crazy? Seriously, though? There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone could have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that, isn't that worth believing in? Nobody can tell you what to believe, but... <clears throat> Everyone, huh? What? I always thought people were pretty selfish by nature, but you... Huh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, the same one who taught you to use arts? Yeah. He basically raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not like... I'm not sure I catch a drift. But this Grumps of yours sounds all right. Huh. And you're all right too, kid. Not that different from me. We're in position. All personnel report to stations. Salvage team, suit up and proceed to hatch. Your target is located inside a shipwreck, 450 pairs straight down. Searching the wreck while submerged is too high risk for our tests, so we'll be using flotation devices and cranes to lift the hull first. Next, you'll split into teams and explore the interior. Once the target is found, retrieval can commence. If that's clear, let's begin with attaching the floats. Get into position. We're paying you low lives a lot, so don't screw it up. Look so and so.
Ein Submarch. Is that it? It looks pretty ancient. Is that the... propulsion mechanism? I've never seen one that shape before. Which country made this? That's massive. The appearance matches our reports, but it's what's inside that matters. Object is secure. Proceed to second phase. Excellent work. You're not half bad, you know that. I do this for a living, remember? All teams? Proceed inside when ready. Right then. Let's get moving. You with us. Me? You're gonna drag the kid along. Seriously? Guess he thinks he need all the help you can get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There, you've got your orders, haven't you? Amazing. So that's how drivers and blades fight? So ruthless. It's like they're monsters themselves. Nice. I'm sure glad these drivers are on our side. You too, Dromark. No need to get hysterical. It was a walk in the park. Yeah, but still. That's enough yapping, you pair of brats. Let's move! Talk about self-important. Gramps always taught me to respect my elders. Elders? 
They make short work of monster. These no ordinary fighters. Big job in Moradain going well, too. There's much money to be made from these people. <laughs> such a bad place. You're all mine. Treasure acquired. Let's show them a thing or three. I'm shaking. How about you? Um, how's your injuries? Better if you don't think about it. You're all mine. And arrived. Any chance of having a break? My legs kind of hurt.
You're all mine. You're all mine.
It's a new day, everyone. Let's have a cheerful day, y'all. Treasure acquired. Oh. Treasure acquired.
Not planning on letting us past, huh? Sounds like a challenge. Time yeah. to take you Line down. Spot. Let's get him. Focus. Yeah. Fight Have on. Yeah. Die. Feral of the cult. Jin, check this out. There it is. Adam's crest. Adam's crest. What does that mean? You. Open this door. Me? This door will only open to one of you people. One of me? What are you talking about? Hurry up and do it! We're not paying you to ask dumb questions. What the hell? You can't treat hired hands like that. Now, how do we open this thing? Hey! So that was a release toggle. Just as I thought. Wait. There. Open that door too. Let's move. What... what is that thing? It's a... girl. about touching that huh Ship out the Aegis. Nia, call the Monoceros.
Uh, excuse me. It's such a mournful sound. Huh? It hasn't stopped. Not... Not in all these years. Hasn't stopped? You mean that bell sound? Is the Praetorium somewhere nearby? Uh... Where are we? This is... Elysium. The land where long ago... Mankind lived in harmony with their creator. It's where... We were born. Get out! R really Is that a core crystal? You're a blade. My name is Pyra. What? Oh right. M mine is I know you. You're Rex, right? How did you know my name? Just now, when we came into contact. Just now? Sorry. I can't seem to remember how I got here. You were... killed. Stabbed through the heart by Jin. Jin? Through the... I remember now. That bastard stabbed me! Oh man! This is bad! Everyone in the guild is in danger! No, wait! I can't do anything if I'm dead! Titan's fucked! If I wasn't dead, I'd kick that guy's ass! Rex, I have a request. Can you take me to Elysium? Elysium? But isn't that here? This world is merely a memory. An ancient, half-forgotten memory of what once was. The real Elysium lies in your world. Atop the world tree that rises from the heart of all rest. Memory? So it's like an illusion. But there's no way. I'm dead, remember? How can I help if I'm not breathing? I will give you half of my life force. That way, you can be revived. As my driver, as the driver of the Aegis. The driver? Of the Aegis? What... what the... What will you do, Rex? Is this place really your home? It is. And it... really exists? Rex. I know what you're thinking, and you are correct. By coming to this place, you can save the world. Save it from the slow demise that is its fate. We wouldn't have to live in fear. Then there's only one choice. I'm in. Let's go to Elysium. I'll take you there myself. Thank you, Rex. Now place your hand on my chest. What? Are you sure?
Near. End them. End? Like what? The price for their lives has already been paid in full. Now that we have finally obtained the Aegis, the fewer living souls know about it, the better. I, I can't do that. These people haven't done anything wrong. I don't understand you. Now, now. Have you forgotten why you came here to begin with, Nia? No, but... Oh, for the love of... Fine, I'll handle it myself. What the... Sword can't be! It's kinda low to stab a man in the back. You bloody psychopath! Pyra! Here! Cover me! Got it! Jin, leave him to me. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, kid. I can't let the likes of you just claim her power for yourself. This is as far as it goes. Yeah! Aegis! Over here! Just leave it out! Give it a rest, Malos! Can't you see he's just a child? A child? Don't make me laugh. This kid yeah. made himself the Aegis' driver! The Aegis' driver? Rex is... Uh. You are done! Thanks, Pyra. You're welcome. Now, don't let up! Yeah! Everybody, go now, quick! Yeah, Malos here. I don't think so. Hey, you bully, over here! Nobody like you. Ah, but with those eyes, I guess I should have been more wary from the start. What do you mean? Like I tell you. You're good, kid. It's no simple feat to control the Aegis like that. However... Rex! 
Don't get cocky, you little shit! Zubak! Understood. What? Get out of the way, Nia! Have you gone mad? You're the one who's off your net, wheeling on a child! Nia, I don't think you quite comprehend your position. I get it, but... You're starting to piss me off! Shock for someone who's only just woken up. Kyra! Takes me back to 500 years ago. What's the deal with that appearance? I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream! Then I have no choice but to stop you! Zorda. Now. I'll have Akos hunt them down. 
her. That'll have to do. And so, Papoonin wisely ran away for dear life. Wise? Who wise now? You useless idiot! Why can Papoonin not even die properly? What if they ask Banner to repay money? Hm? Huh? Die? Repay who? Meh. None of your business. Anyway, tell me where Rex and Blade went. Rex, Titan and friends ran away. Went to south of Cyclist Sea. After that, Banner know as much as Papoonin. Storm was very thick, so Papoonin... Papoonin lost them, yes? Yes, but... And then, run away like coward? Yes, but... Ma, 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 ma! Banner not putting feeble excuses on Papoonin! Just get back here! You got lot of work to do! Ma, ma, ma! Even pricey insurance banner takeout on Maelstrom go to waste! Still, how interesting. Heading southward from Cyclist Sea. In current season, that likely take them to Gormont. You, go! Get Consul Dougal on the line immediately! Yes, sir. One moment, please. Why, if it isn't Chairman Banner! What an unexpected pleasure! May I just say that I admire how you rebranded those broken core crystals? And selling them onto the Dunderheads back in Morar Den. Absolutely sublime! Banner did not call to hear pointless flattery. And blubbering about core crystals on unsecured line? Is Dougal some kind of idiot? What if Indor tap our communication? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. Man, forget it. We got bigger fishes to fry. Oh? What's going on? Listen up. Thank goodness. You aren't injured at all, are you? No, I'm fine, I guess. Where? I'm not certain. We seem to have washed up on a Titan of some kind. A Titan? <gasps> Where's Gramps? Ania? Gotta find them. They can't be far. Okay. You're all mine.
It is good to see you uninjured, Rex. How awful. Hold on, I should have some herbs. You are kind, but no amount of human medicine would suffice. But... Weep not, my boy. This is my fate. I... I can't help it. Can I? No parting is forever. We will surely meet again when the flow of the ether will set. <sighs> the days with you were the best I ever had. Until we meet again, Rex. Gramps. Grabs! Grabs! I told you not to cry, didn't I, Rex? <laughs> Rex? <laughs> Rex? Grabs! Rex! your eyes. Don't you recognize me? Um, well, not really, no. I am so confused right now. So you see, by maximizing cellular regeneration to retain all vital bodily functions, I seem to have reverted to a larval stage. Well, that's quite handy. Must be nice to be a titan. This isn't something just any old titan can do. Only one so advanced as myself. Um, Rex, are you angry? Huh, I'm not. It's more that I didn't want you to see me blubbering like a baby. <laughs> it's okay to be angry. So, when will you be back to your old self? Good question. No more than 300 years. Three hundred years? But I'll be long dead by then. Hmm. I suppose that's true. But what about my house? Do I have to live in the streets? Perhaps this is an opportunity to fly the nest. You mean, pay rent? Oh, miser boots. It's a massive extra expense. Still. Glad you're OK, Grants. We can't stand around all day. We have to find Mia. Mia? You mean that driver and her blade from before? Yeah. They kind of saved our lives. I do hope they're all right. Gramps, do you remember anything? I remember crashing through many trees before landing here. They probably fell off then. Hmm. That's not a whole lot to go on. Perhaps we would have some luck following the trail of broken trees. Good thinking, Pyra. Let's go. By the way, Rex, is that a core crystal I see shining on your chest? Just what happened to you? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to find Nia. Oh, now this makes a nice change.
I call upon the power of fire! And arrived. <laughs> All in one piece. What's that sound? I felt a ripple in the ether. It feels like a driver is using a blade in battle. I'm certain of it. Let's go. Okay. My lady. Leave this to me. I'm not just gonna abandon you, Zuma. What? We're here to help! Mia! Rex! What are you doing here? My lady, now is our chance. Let's attack. Alright then! So why are you guys even... Well, I guess that's a stupid question. Indeed. Seriously, it's good to see you. And you're all right. Right back at you. Hey, by the way, what happened to the big guy who saved us? The Titan? Are you talking about me? Wait, what? How? That's sort of a long story. Let's get somewhere we can rest. I'll tell you all about it then. That seems prudent, my lady. Sure, lead the way. I see. So you two are off to Elysium. Listen, I never thanked you properly. For saving us, I mean. Jomak said that you carried us all the way here. We owe you our lives, Titan. No need to thank me. After all, you were the ones who saved Rex. Don't mention it. So, you Titans can regenerate. Pretty handy. This isn't something just any old Titan can... You can retire that line now. Excuse me. I'd like less of that attitude. If you had listened to me and declined that reckless job to begin with, we wouldn't be in this mess. Take a nap, you said. Like I was some kind of doddery old man. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm a terrible disappointment. Look how sorry I am. Can you not muster even a shred of sincere remorse? Sorry, but I can't. Hmm, what? If I hadn't taken the job, they'd have got their hands on Pyra. Rex. I couldn't let that happen. No way. They can never take her. Uh, hmm. Hello there. Still awake, I see. I can't seem to sleep. It's good to see you again, Azurda. Likewise. Though you've changed a lot since last we met, Pyra. I suppose I have. A lot's happened. Yes, it has. I wanted to thank you for saving my dear Rex. And I need to know what you told him. Is that what you really intend? Yes. It is my true desire. I see. 
Well, that's good enough. I have no reason to doubt you, Pyra. That said, I do have one other goal now. Jin and Malos. I cannot allow them to continue with their current course. The fate of an Aegis never changes. Right. And you're going to get Rex mixed up in this? <sighs> I'm not blaming you. No matter how hard you tried, that boy would find some way to get involved. I see half your core is missing. Seems you've taken on quite a burden. Azurda, I... Promise me you'll take care of Rex. I will. Right then. We should probably try and find a town or something. Does anyone have any idea where we are? This is Gormot, a province of the Adenian Empire. You must have seen the Gormot Titan before. Yeah, only from a distance, though. We're somewhere around its belly. So, this is Gormot, huh? Hang on a second. Nia, your ears. Are you Gormotti? Well done, genius. Took you long enough. Gormot is the land of my lady's birth. Wow. Well, that's reassuring. If we want to find a town, the first step is to get out of this forest. Keep heading up, and we'll hit the plain soon. The town's that way. Brilliant. Let's get going. You're all mine. Coochie, coochie, coo! Calm your mind. Structural analysis in progress. There. That should do it.
goodness, what a wonderful view. Spectacular indeed. Yeah, this is great. Especially after slumming it on Gramps' back for so long. <laughs> it served you well enough. Over there, that's Torigoth, biggest city in gold. I'll accompany you as far as the city. After that, I'm afraid you're on your own. Oh, on our own? Of course. I would have thought even you'd know why I can't be seen with you. Because you're supposed to be one of them. I haven't known them very long. But you know, they're still my crew. Your crew? Even after they tried to kill you? That's as may be. But they're the closest thing I have to a family. Nia? Right, let's go.
and arrived. <laughs> so, this is Torogoth. It hasn't changed a bit. Nia? It's nothing. Okay, then. I'll show you to an inn. Then I'm out of here. likeness, to say the least. Oi, did you see some things? Uh, no. I fear they may have conflated our countenances, my lady. How very awful. Fie! Who has the courage to heed the Empire's call? Your strong heart today will build a strong, more ordained tomorrow! Of course, you get more than a salary. Pension and benefits are included. Distinguish yourself, and you could even join the nobility! For the glory of the Ardanian Empire and His Majesty, Emperor Niall! Come now! Who wants to be the hero of tomorrow? Hmm. What's the deal over there? Driver recruitment. Driver recruitment? Recently, they've been recruiting drivers from all over. The pool of potentials is ever shrinking. They must have run out of candidates in the military. What do you mean by potentials? I'm not sure I follow. Just see for yourself. Don't do it, bro. It's too dangerous. What will we do if something happens to you? Who will look after us? Please! I, I know it's dangerous, but if I can be become a driver... Out of the way, Pipsqueak! Go! All right! Come on, Blade boy Oh, Show me what you got! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's done for. Indeed. Oh ho! All bark and no bite! What a shame! Oh, what just happened? All that blood. Couldn't handle the core crystal's power. That's what happens. When someone unqualified touches a core crystal, truly lamentable. Wait, you need a qualification to be a driver. Perhaps aptitude would be a better one. Aptitude? No! Is there nobody else here ready to test their strength for the glory of the Empire? Oh, how about you? What say you? Step forward, sir, with bold heart! Don't, don't worry. Your big bro's gonna be a driver. And then we'll be set for life. Don't do it! <laughs> There's your aptitude. I 
did it! You did it! I don't believe wow. it! The core crystal turned into a weapon? That is how blades are born, Rex. What? But when I touch Pyra's... She's a special case. Pyra's the Aegis, remember? So the usual rules don't apply. All that business with sharing her life force, it's not exactly normal. Wait, what does the Aegis even mean? Jin and Malos, they called her that too. Dunno. All I know is that it's some kind of legendary blade. Why don't you just ask her yourself? Let's go. No point sticking around for the enrollment ceremony and all that boring stuff. This whole thing with core crystals, touching them to create blades. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. We blades start out formless, anchored to the world only by our core crystal. Only the touch of a potential can imbue us with form and being. And it is by those forms we come to be known. So you see, my boy, in some ways it is only the fated touch of a driver that allows the blades to exist at all. Wow. Why does it happen that way, though? Now, that is something no one knows. It's just how it's always been. Blades come in all shapes and sizes. Some human-shaped, some not. Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person the driver is. The resonance between blade and driver is a mysterious thing. Pyra, she was crying when I met her. Was she brought to life by someone once? Just like a normal blade? What is the Aegis, really? Halt! Nobody move! Oh dear. Looks like Imperial troops. Great. Hey, what's going on? That fugitive in your company is an enemy of the state, a member of Torna. Nia? A member of Torna? It's her, all right. Gormothy Driver, White Beast Form Blade. She looks exactly like the wanted poster. What wanted poster? See for yourself. Wow, it really does. Oi, watch it. Uh, I mean, no way. This doesn't look anything like. Wait, we've got no time for this. Who cares if it looks just like her? Hmm. Now, as for you, you look like a driver too. Registration number? Five, three, nine? Knock it off, you fool. All new drivers must register with Endor. No number means you must be an illegal, unregistered driver. No, you don't get it. You're coming with me. We'll see what the Consul has to say about this. Rex, Dromak and I are going to make a move. Get ready to run. We're not leaving without you. This is our problem, not yours. I'm pretty sure he wants to arrest all of us. So this is my problem, too. Sheesh, you're a stubborn one, in you? Gramp says the same thing. OK, we go on three. We'll go left, you go right. OK. Just get the word. OK, let's do this. You, you, you're going to resist? Seriously? One, two... All right, men. We've got them outnumbered. Move in and take them down. Three! Oh. 
Okay, time to You're take done. you down. I can take care of myself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Be You're here! Done. Our emotions are in two oh. ways. Oh. My thoughts are exactly. Be here! Oh. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. So strong! Such strength from a measly two fighters! Their drivers are right! Rex! No! You got it! Wow. A wall made of fire! Such a commotion. Just when I thought I could enjoy a little peace and quiet. Oh, lady! Bridget! Bridget? Is she a blade? Where, where's her driver? My driver is otherwise engaged at present. I am here alone. No driver? <laughs> Lady Bridget is the jewel of Morrison, the strongest blade in the Empire. Even alone, he's more than a master. Lady Bridget, these miscreants are terrorists working for Thorne. Please lend me your power to bring them to justice. That emerald core crystal. Could it really be true? Well, Captain Cargill, you are not to kill them. Take these ones in alive. Roger. Men, bring the you no know water! Show him a thing or three. Stay on your toes. You're done! Great! Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. Back. You're done! Yeah! Double spinning oh. edge! our attack she's so strong mm, and this is without a driver stop yammering just get it drum up ah! drum up this is an ethernet <laughs> wait till you use your precious arts when you can't draw ether from the atmosphere even blades have weaknesses this is one such weakness Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, draw up! Get out of you, Rex! Save yourself! I'm not gonna do that. I can't just leave you here. You've got your own mission, just move it! Yeah, but... No bets, go! Rex, we must withdraw for now. It's our only chance. But... You won't escape. <laughs> Thanks. 
You saved us. But I got to ask, why? No reason. No reason? Sorry, that not true. Truth is, Tora not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new boom biter on big bullies. That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boom biter missed and hit water pipe. But results not so bad, hey? Oh. So you shot the pipe. That right. And you're Tora. I'm Rex. And this is Pyra. It's so lovely to meet you. Good to meeting. <laughs> huh? Oh, actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. This way. The boy and his blade, who seemed to be working with them, got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe or... See, Podrick, do you remember what my orders were? Sir? I told you to capture the blade with the Emerald Core Crystal, did I not? Do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head. But, sir, she's a member of Torna. I'll say it slowly for you, just so we're clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, Consul Dougal, sir. What? I'm not exactly sure what colour emerald is supposed to be. Me strength! It's green, you idiot! Emerald is green! Like this! Green! Get it, ya clod? Oh, green! I get it now! So, emeralds are green. Huh. You dunderhead! How many blades do you see with green core crystals? It's patently obvious! How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Actually, sir, technically, I believe that's a tiger, rather than a... Silence! Ah! Consul! What is it? Haven't you heard of knocking? My apologies, sir. It's just that Lady Morag has... What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the Motherland. Already? Her ship has just docked. Look this! This cannot be happening! You live down here? This just back door. Front entrance over there. Makes sense. Whoa! Is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch cloud sea sometimes. You have a wonderful home. <laughs> anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex? Rex Rex, Tora explain other reason I help you. You see... 
Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Ah, interested in drivers, are you? But of course. Tora think it's amazing how Driver and Blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? One Rex, not two. What is point? Well, nothing, I guess. It just sounds a bit different from what I'm used to. Double name just show Tora's respect. Respect for great driver. Rex Rex should be proud. I'm not sure I've earned all that yet. Oh, all right. You can call me Rex Rex if it makes you happy. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Really? Tora will be friend of Rex Rex? Hooray! <laughs> what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora. Do you know much about this town? Huh? You wouldn't happen to know where the army takes prisoners, would you? Rex, you're not planning to. We have to save Nier and Dromark. I thought you'd say that. Oh, you talk about Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue. Yeah. Meh, meh. Tora would have to ask around town for info like that. Before we do anything, time for food! All of today's running around make Tora hungry. Need food to help Rex Rex. I'm a little peckish too. Can't we eat later? I want to find Nier and Dromok as soon as possible. <laughs> Stomach of Rex Rex tell different story. I, I can't help it, can I? Um, if it's all right with everyone... I could cook something. Pyra, I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> well, as long as fire is involved, I can do almost anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Whoa! If you want ice cream, though, you might have to find someone else. Well, you can't have everything. I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. Oh, man, this is delicious. Oh, yum, yummy. So super, very tasty. Simply exquisite. I haven't eaten this well in 120 years. Glad you liked it. It seems like I did okay. 
I was worried I'd have gotten a little rusty over the years. It didn't taste rusty at all. Uh, um, I mean... But Tora is curious. Pyra is fire-using blade, yes? When Tora broke that water pipe, Pyra could still make fire. Come to think of it, you're right. That Bridget, the Imperial Blade, she used fire abilities just like Pyra, but the water seemed to douse much of her strength. So, what are you saying? This world full of elemental energy called ether, yes? Ether comes in forms like fire, water, and wind. While battling, drivers and blades both draw power from ether. But fire not good with water. Other blade woman got splooshy with water, so fire powers all down. But Pyra and I were able to use our powers with no problem. Indeed. They were unaffected. Why? Um, well, my powers don't come from fire. Meh meh? If power's not fire, why look like flames? That may be a little complicated to explain. Go on then. Tora like complicated things a lot. <sighs> well, um, uh, 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 it. Knock it off, Tora. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Eh. Everyone has things they'd rather not talk about. Right? I'm sorry. I'm sure I'll be able to tell you about it soon enough. Don't worry about it. Right now, we need to think about how to rescue Nia. First, we go around town and find all information we can. Hmm. Yes, I dare say that we're all wanted criminals by this point. Pyra sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, friends. Tora has an idea. Special Inquisitor Morag! To what do we owe this extreme pleasure? Had we but heard of your grace's visit, we could have prepared a suitable... I don't stand on ceremony, Consul. I'd rather you just did your job. Y your grace? Someone of your standing deserves to be treated as such. You are his majesty's representative. Please permit us to lay on a meal befitting your grace. Until then, we would be honored if... You made impressive time. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, 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 Lady Bridget! If we have found the Aegis, then there is no time to waste. But I fear the passage has taken its toll on our engines. The Aegis? H how do you...? Is there a problem, Dougal? N uh, not at all, Your Grace. Good. Now, you've captured a driver from Torna. I am going to speak with her. What? Why do you want... Dougal. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Y yes Your Grace! I'll take you to her right away! So, you are the Torna Ruffian. I must say you look a little different from your poster. A little different. Whoever drew that should be the one in jail. <laughs> yes, I would be angry too. You can drop the friendly act. You won't name your friends? My friends? I'm not so sure I'd call those trigger happy Torna goons friends. I see. I think we have our wires crossed here. I am not talking about Torna. Huh? You're not? No, I was referring to your more recent traveling companions. The driver boy and his blade. Rex and Pyra. Well, 
That was easy. Damn it! This looks like it could actually work. Good idea, Tora. Right! Let's look for Friends of Rex Rex! And arrived. <laughs> All in one piece.
I'm an able blade, and I'm ready to do my part. And arrived. <laughs> All in one piece. When did it get so late? Oh, and I've started glowing. I'm a bit self-conscious.
here. So, shall we? So, shall we? Nia and Dromark. Executed. It doesn't bear thinking about. But getting aboard that warship will be no mean feat. We're going to need an ironclad plan. Army port is under heavy guard. I guess we'll just have to mount a full-on attack. No, Rex. We can't put everyone in danger. Right. Sorry. There. This is one of the Grand Arbor's ruse, right? If this map is correct, it goes all the way from the key to the hull of the warship. And here, it looks like some kind of cargo entrance. Could we sneak on that way? Oh, right. No one will spot us if we sneak in from below. Security light around this entrance. At night, not even workers here. Looks like this is our only option. Then it's a plan. <laughs> Tora? Tora have something to show you. What's this then? Nobody ever see this before. Secret of Tora. An artificial blade. An artificial blade? I can't believe it. Tora have always wanted to be driver of Blade. But Tora... Uh, Tora has no potential to awaken Core Crystal. How could you know that? Surely you just have to try and... Oh, you did, didn't you? Yes, one year ago, Tora applied to drive a recruitment man. Oh, dearie me. Oh, Tora, you mean you... It was bad. Tora had nosebleed for three days. Just a nosebleed? 
What you mean, just? People die from loss of blood, you know. Yeah, but from a nosebleed. Anyway, moving on. For a near-death experience, you're awfully casual about this. Anyway, back to Tora's blade. When complete, even no potential Tora can be a driver. This is simply incredible. You built this blade from scratch, Tora? It was started by Grampy Pon and Dada Pon. But Grampy Pon die, and Tora still not know where Dada Pon go to. Oh. So Tora will finish Blade myself and become a driver like always wanted. Then Dada Pon hear about Tora's success and come back home, yes? Oh, Tora. By the by, Tora, this blade, as far as I can see, it looks complete. What is there left to do? <laughs> All Tora have left to do is buy missing parts. But Tora have no money at all. Oh, really? Really? Nothing. At all? Not even one gold. So you're asking for a loan? Uh, not loan. <laughs> um, closer to generous donation. Just like a nopon. <laughs> Always shrewd when it comes to gold. But, but, but if Tora completes Artificial Blade, combat capabilities will be big help on mission. Well, yeah. If it works, you may have a point. So, how much exactly do you need? Oh, no more than 60,000 gold. 60,000? Do you want a kidney as well? Calm down, Rex. I think we owe Tora our help. If it's just money he needs, I may be able to assist. Assist? How exactly? Nothing illegal. I pull! Don't even joke, Gramps. This is a natural crystal. It should fetch around 60,000. No way. We can't let you sell that. But... No, it wouldn't be right. That's it, I'm paying for the parts myself. Very admirable. Mama! Rex Rex is too generous. This blade of yours had better be seriously useful though, Tora. Up, leave that to Tora. Well then, let's go, I guess. Yippee! Will they really be okay? I suppose they'll have to be. So, shall we? 